you guys are in for a real treat today because I don't feel like doing any editing. So I'm going to give you a very high quality, high production value video of my 4x4 tent that I'm running off of my DIY automation system. This thing is running Home Assistant as its backbone and it pretty much takes care of everything in here. I just have to supervise like the nutrient change outs and pretty much takes care of the rest like climate, uh, pH dosing, fertigation, and whatever. But I haven't focused at all on the plants and the peppers are doing super well in here. So I wanted to take a look at them today. So in the back corner, it's such a B to get good light on these things, but I have all these sweet peppers and the plant is pretty much just like leaning on the wall because there's such a mess of these peppers in the back that it just cannot support itself. And just to give you an idea of the size of them, I do have my international scale unit with me here. There you go. And I swear my wife is like the worst banana purchaser in the world. Like she buys them green and they just immediately turn to brown. Like there's no delicious like yellow stage in between. It's green and then it's brown and then it becomes banana bread, which is okay. But there's that plant right there. These guys are just kind of chilling in here. I've got some different uh, herbs, basil, dill, cilantro, parsley, but they're not really being fed. And then in the other back corner, there is a tomato plant, if you can see it, that's kind of poking through in a few locations. And that's kind of like the, like the bad side of the tracks where I have, like, I have no idea what's really going on in there and I'm too scared to go in there and find out. So I just kind of let that tomato do whatever it wants to do. And actually, I'll bet you if I took a look like in here, I could find some tomatoes, sure enough. There's a whole pile of them right here, which have just been kind of like hanging out there, unbeknownst to me. There's probably a lot more, but again, I don't really want to go in there because I'm scared I'm going to break something. And this thing right here is taking over my entire tent, and it's a Carolina Reaper plant. Like it's, it's like completely encroached on the tomato side. Like this thing spans, I don't know. I don't have a measuring tape, but I do have my scaling unit. So this plant is like one, two, three. It's like easily seven to eight bananas wide at its widest. It's humongous. And I like spicy food, I really do but I think this thing is going to F my ass up big time. It's starting to put out some good sized pods. Let's see if I can get this camera to focus. Maybe I can get some light on there. But they're everywhere. And they're gnarly as F too. Like just ugly looking. And I'm pretty damn excited for these things to start ripening up. And I think what I'm going to do is just buy a, like buy a bidet and see if I can mod it so that it just shoots aloe vera like directly into my butthole. Because I don't think there's toilet paper soft enough for the damage that these things are going to do me if I put them in like a salsa or something. But good lord, I'm pumped because there, there must be a whole F ton of these things on the backside too that I can't see. And I know there are some big ass ones in the middle. I can barely like get at them now at this point. But there's a big boy right there. Damn. That's like easily a, a th maybe a an eighth of a banana long. 
if we're going to stick with that theme. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I have some strawberries started in my little NFT project. I've never done NFT before, and I'm kind of a dummy, and I was way too over eager to get these things into the pipes, and I didn't really let the roots grow long enough, so I've been top feeding them like a sucker, and on the Sorry, my phone just died. I guess I'm doing this in two takes, but as I was saying, on the nights where I forget about these things and fall asleep, then this happens, and they dry out, and they die, and luckily, I usually count on myself making some sort of stupid mistake, so I have some backup boys just waiting to be called up from the farm team over here that I'm going to sub in and put these ones to rest. But that's it. That's all the new and exciting updates for the automated tent. And I'll see you guys soon.